What's up guys? For today's video, um, I'm gonna make a video over that 15 minute orb strategy, but more specifically how I use it when it comes to indices, you know, SPY, QQQ, etc. So one thing, if you notice, you know, SPY, QQQ follow pre-market levels a lot better than most tickers do, right? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark down some pre-market levels, um, the highs and lows, high, being 431.56, 431.6, cool. And then it looks like the low here would be 428.10, hold up. Four, yeah, 428.10, move this up. So I'm just gonna mark these levels down um, and use them as possible price targets. Cool, so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip those off um, and just do regular trading to show this orb strategy. Um, so using the orb strategy, high and low of that first 15 minute candle, um, I use the 15 minute chart here. So the high at 428.76, 428.76, low at 427.08. Cool, so then after that, I'm gonna flip over to this five minute chart. My favorite way to use this strategy is on ETFs, those indices and gap ups. On Friday, we had a gap up on the indices, so perfect um, for me. And one thing that, you know, why this strategy works and just, you know, looking through at things, um, how to play it out, just looking at this, you know, that bottom level is gonna be our put trigger, top level is gonna be our call trigger, perfect. Um, I'm gonna flip over to the five minute on the execution phase. So I'll take puts under this 427, 427.7 level and calls above 428.76. If you notice, you know, this is a very good candle um, to show that there is downside momentum, but it closes so far down that I don't really wanna enter in. So I'm gonna wait on a retest in this case. Um, at 11 a.m. we get a perfect retest right at 427.08, that 15 minute orb low, perfect spot to enter into some puts on this second candle here. Uh, it's a bearish engulfing as well at a key level. See a nice flush down throughout the day. Absolutely love it. Now let's look at QQQ real quick. I'm gonna throw on this to the 15 and then throw this to extended. I keep extended hours off all the time except for when I'm creating some levels on uh, the ETFs. Um, I noticed that you know SPY QQQ follow these a little bit better, so that's my main reasoning there. Looking at QQQ, the low here at 334.32, um, I'll mark that and then I'll also mark this high as a potential target right, but in this case, using this first, I'm gonna just flip this over here back to our regular trading. Uh, using this first 15 minute candle, it's the 9.30 candle, wait on that close. Um, we get a high 334.65 and a low at 331.77. Throw that in and then we'll flip over here to five for the execution phase. So perfect we get this almost immaculate close right below that level on QQQ. Allows us a very good entry spot, long upper wick, um, and the gap filled. So this is a pretty high conviction spot to add. The next candle does retest long lower wick. So, you know, that might've been a spot, get a little bit of chop, um, but then we just see, you know, a mass off sell the rest of the day. Awesome. When it comes to, you know, price targets, I do the same thing. Um, as I would for a normal ticker, but I just throw it on the hourly, kind of look at levels, hit multiple times, you know, it looks like 330 is a big level. Um, down here, 323 is a big one, and then 320 is the massive level we need to hold or break through for those puts to really pay. To go off of that, levels that I'm watching this week on QQQ and SPY. First off being this 323.20 level, down to 320, break through 320, that's an easy move to 318.4, um, 318 is that big level I'm watching underneath 320. Um, on the upside, first one looks like, you know, we need to rate through 
is this level here at 327 was a prior low before we ultimately fell off like that a lot um, on the daily let's look what we're looking at here on the daily very very ugly bearish candle um, 324 big level 323 bigger level but those biggest levels 320 and then 318 really want to see how we, we react to those levels um, but right now you know it looks like the sellers the bears are in control if you notice on uh, let's see what, what would this have been Tuesday Wednesday maybe whatever day we had to put Wednesday we had this push but look how low the volume is right so to me that's a dead cat bounce um, and I think in this case it definitely shows that it was definitely a dead cat, cat bounce in terms of spy levels I'm watching here let's flip over here to the hourly so on the downside um, not too much really down towards 416 I'll be watching 417 416 25 um, and that then 415 underneath 415 look here on the daily we have a massive VPA gap all the way down to about 400 um, 410 is the one underneath that underneath 415 but underneath that level look at this we have a massive VPA gap all the way down to about 395 um, I'd expect 400 to get some nice bounces however just because that's a very very big psych level so that's kind of what I'm thinking in terms of the overall market, but if we're ready to play that price action tomorrow.